Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use a custom list to organize your sorting in Excel. Let's take a look at this short little list over here. We have the 12 months of the year, we have one product, and then we have the sales for that product in each month. Well, someone says, show me the sales in descending order. So let's use the right mouse click, come down here to sort, and let's sort on the values in the sales field, largest to smallest. Well, that's fine. Now, putting aside the fact that I could use the undo feature using the keyboard shortcut Control Z or using the undo button, let's just say that I saved and closed this workbook. Well, the next day, I want to get the months of the year organized from June. January through December. So I'll think, well, that's simple. I'll just come back again, right mouse click for the shortcut menu, sort, and say sort A to Z. Well, I'm probably disappointed, but I literally told Excel, well, sort it in alphabetical sequence. So how do I get it back to January, February, March, April, May? We can use the custom list. Let me demonstrate. Once again, let's right mouse click come over here for sort and this time what we're going to do is we want to bring up the custom sort dialog box. Now the custom sort dialog box I do want to sort by the month field I want to sort on values but I don't want to sort in ascending alphabetical order I want to sort using a custom list. So now we have a, a, a grouping of our custom list so you see the months of the year the days of the week we have two options the shortened version of the month or the fully spelled out month, same for the days of the week. So notice that I've used the three character short list, so I want to sort on this custom list. Click OK, click OK, and there you go. Now it's restored. Now I've created a custom list over here, software, hardware, support, and hosting. And let's see how we can put that into play. So I'm going to unhide these columns over here. And what I have is I have each of the products organized from January through December of that year. Once again, let's come over here and use the shortcut menu and sort on the sales field largest to smallest. Now, when I want to get this back into order, the order that I had, and again, I know I could use Control Z to undo it immediately, but presuming that I've saved the workbook and closed it, when I want to get it back, this time I'm going to bring up that custom uh, sort by coming up to the data tab on the ribbon, and I want to use the sort dialog box. So this is the same as when we use the shortcut menu and said custom sort. So in this case, what I want to do is I first want to sort on product sorting on values using a custom list. Again, I get the dialog box. There's that custom list that I've created. Click OK. And now I want to add a level. This time I want to sort on the month using a custom list. The custom list that I'm going to use is the shortened version of the month. Click OK. So the first, first sort will use the custom list for the product, and then within that sort, sort using the custom list for the month. Click OK, and there you go. We have our product sorted in the order of the custom list, and then within that, January through December. Now, let me show you how to create a custom list. So I've typed some uh, department labels over here, and I always want to be able to use that order. So let's create it, let's highlight it, and I recommend that we spell check it. So let's use the F7 keyboard shortcut to make sure that the spelling is correct. All right, keep them still selected. In Excel 2007, come over here to the Office button, Excel Options, and then on the Popular tab of the ribbon, choose Edit custom list. Now since we've already highlighted those uh, labels we see them over here. Now it's a simple matter to just say import them, click OK, click OK, and now if I were to open up a brand new workbook I could use that new list. So I could put in their sales and then auto fill it down. I could put in the month of the year, auto fill that down, and the other list that I have created began with software. And again, I can autofill that down. 
So we see the custom list can be used for two purposes. Number one, they can be used for autofill, and number two, they can be used to organize your sorting. And I offer this as one of the tips, which are one of the 50 best tips for Excel 2007 on my DVD-ROM. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.